the mailbox. Damn, Kayali really rock with the kid. As they know I'm a new fan of the house, they sent over their latest release, which is Smoky Oud. And from what I saw, it's got booze in it. So they either really rock with the type of content that I make, or they find me to be a raging alcoholic, which I think it's the latter. Well, every time I'm depressed, I take a drink. <laughs> That game exists, it's called alcoholism. But I've just taken the cellophane wrapper off. I don't know what's inside, so let's unbox this joint because I don't think it's just a fragrance because that's a hell of a big box. But let's roll my music so we can check out Kayali's new release of the Smoking Oot. <laughs> Listen, one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is. This your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Shout out to Kayali for sending me this sweet gift. I truly appreciate that. Wildly unexpected. And the only reason that I know it's Smoky Oud because it said it on the packing slip. But I did take the little wrapping off and we're going to be unboxing this together. I, it's a little bit on the heavy side. I don't know what's in here. But if you guys haven't tried Kayali, especially the dudes, if you can go to a Sephora, they got samples and stuff. Really try to sample these joints and you'll get to experience like what I first experienced when I first smelled the brand. Again, I thought it was all femme. I thought it was just for baddies. You are a bad boy. Pretty ass bottles, like mm, bad bitch alert and all that shit. I was like, there's nothing catered for a dude here. But like Biggie said, you're dead wrong. Not only that, the price points are very decent. Like in the 140 to 160 space, they're constantly sold out of Sephora. It's got a wild amount of hype on it. And the quality and creativity of the fragrances has been on point. And the biggest advantage here, which none of y'all will understand unless you're day one ball Sprayer Cubano fans, my wife's favorite brand right now. And that is imp You don't know to get to that level, you either gotta produce some wild fire shit or you're her best friend in the whole wide world. Cause she don't rock with many fragrances at all as you've seen in the past. So she wears Kayali on a daily. And I'm not talking about one fragrance, I'm talking about multiple. But the main one is Yum Pistachio. So listen. We're fans, so let's see what's up in here. Let me stop the yapping or whatever. Oh, something felt like it was gonna fall. Hold on, I, I will break shit. I'm just that dude. Oh, so this is the brand owner, Mona, with her little cute picture and said like, hey, I'm a queen, look at me. And here's some display here. There's the pricing right up there, 140 bucks, bro. I mean, yo, you can't beat that for a niche brand. Boom, here we go. I don't know what's in here. Let's look at the booklet. I'm just curious to see what's up in here. Oh, I guess this is what's in here. It has a little bacore joint with the chips in here. We actually really enjoy these joints. We it in the living room as like scented decor. I also have the, I forgot what the product's name is. If I don't use the wood chips, which I really do enjoy, I have a couple by Amouage, some wood chips that were delicious. I'm really looking forward to trying these joints, but I also have that Room 360 or whatever that just stows pup fantastic too. So, so I love a room smell that's great. So it comes with this joint, which is fly. I guess these are the different ouds in the oud line. So vanilla oud 36, cafe oud, rose oud, tobacco oud, and now smoky oud. So this is that I'm assuming that Bukar, a Bukar, the smoky wood chips. Bro, if you've ever tried these shits in your crib, they actually money. I mean, I'll slap the shit out of a Glade plug-in, but they're deep though, so keep that in mind. That shit is rich. They will light up your whole place and looks like you're doing a seance in that joint. And here is the Smoky Oud by Kayali, part of their Oudgasm line. Uh, 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 too intense, too intense. Oh my God. <gasps> I lost my vision. So I guess it's Smoky Oud Intense. The notes are listed in the back, so let me read these while I rip this bitch open. It's rum, saffron, geranium, cedarwood, patchouli, and oud. Uh, there's nothing there that sounds whack, and I don't know if I need to say this or not for those who are new to the channel. Gifted bottles, brands, collaborations, don't give a shit. I'm gonna give my honest interpretation. There's some things I like, some things that I don't like. Fragrances while subjective. That's my whole fucking disclaimer. Like it, don't like it, I don't give a shit. Smoky Oud, handsome presentation. There are the no breakdown. I wanna know what kind of vibe this is on. It has clearly the same presentation as the other Kayali black bottle oodgasms, but I wanna know what this shit smells like. I'm tired of this whole presentation joint, yo. I wanna know how fly this is, if it's my type of vibe or no. Rum, I like rum. Rum is not my number one choice. Alcohol is. I need to start drinking alcohol. Give me one of those bottles. But let's see what type of energy smoky oud is on. Okay, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Okay, first off, uh, goose pimps right from Rip. Okay, so we got goose pimples right from Rip. Now, this is not mass appeal, panty dropping type scent profile. This is classy OG gentleman vibes 
all day. There's no funk or animalic oud in here, which is a plus for those getting into the oud space. I like to preach that often because oud is something that's a very complex, funkadelic smell. This don't got that. Now, generally when it comes to oud, you recognize it as a rose oud combo. There's florals in here, but it's not necessarily a rosy aspect. I'm assuming it's that geranium. I My florals aren't that crazy on point for me to be like, oh, this is geranium from the eastern waters of the hemisphere. <laughs> I don't fucking know. And really, who cares? I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. This is an OG smell. This is classy, more mature, not for the 30 years and under crowd. Very dark, very rich, very deep, opulent. The smoky factor here is absolute money, but it's not incense smoke. It's just woody smoke. It's a thought provoking scent. It triggered my goose pimples, but I also know that a dude who looks like this should not be wearing this fragrance. It should be a dude who's suited and booted to the nines. This is corporate this is sexy, this is mature, a lot of Middle Eastern vibes in this joint, and something that I think the doors are slowly opening up to the Western to get acclimated to these types of scents. Let me see what this joint does on skin, because on the test trip, it's a whole OG masculine scent profile. I just sprayed my tea all over with this fragrance. But the skin is truly the final determination of what type of vibe this joint is on, but I'm definitely sensing OG, corporate, masculine, office, business, CEO, energy. Let's see what type of vibes we're doing here. Okay, there's a little Little bit of a plasticky essence, which sometimes come from this patchouli oud combination. That's what happens. Very rich, very deep. I don't get much of the rum though. I'm getting way more oud patchouli vibes. That floral or that geranium note. The cedar wood is definitely there, but it's more woody than just cedar wood. I'm actually getting a little bit more of a teak wood kind of action to my nose, but not enough booze. I need more rum, Mona. I need more rum. That sounds like a person who needs to go to a meeting, but I just like booze. Desperate is a stinky cologne. This is wild classy, bro. This smells like, um, kind of like the space of the old school to Zara Van Cleef and Arpels, this gentlemanly, full, classy, like 35 and over type scent profile. James Bondish, black suit, tie affair, wildly elegant. A dude like me should not be wearing this scent. What? So here are my first impression thoughts of Kayali Smokey Oud, their latest release. Classy, well executed, mature, black suit in tie affair, can absolutely be worn as a corporate scent. It's not a fuckboy type scent profile. This isn't a clubby going out type shit. Definitely nobody under the age of 30 should be rocking this type of scent profile because it's not for you. It is not your typical rose oud combination. It's more of a floral oud, but it doesn't pop off with the booziness that I would have hoped to have in this scent profile. I would have kicked up the rum a little bit more to help balance it and offset the oody combination of this joint. There is a nice woody teakwood smoke energy coming off this scent profile, which screams uber refinement, classy, and sophistication. There is a Middle Eastern flow here, but luckily the oud is absolutely wearable, nothing offensive, nothing off-putting, but there is a little bit of a rubber plasticky type scent profile coming from that patchouli oud combination. And it's only three quarters of a ball spray because it truly doesn't put the rumminess that I was hoping for in this particular scent profile. I always gotta keep it honest and a buck, but in no way, shape, or form is this bad at all. I just need to put on a fucking suit. Ball spray. I'm gonna tell you this shit though. Let's keep it a stack. For a buck 40, the quality and the scent profile that comes out of these fragrances is dumb. When you got high end designers charging a buck 80 for Gaga, and then you got this kind of refinement and sophistication for a buck 40. I can't wait to see what other shit they come up with. Shout out to Kayali for sending this shit. Mona, you a G, your whole team is fantastical. Keep on with the creativity, keep on with the sex appeal. As far as room scent is concerned, these wood chips smelling like this is gonna be ultra fucking classy. I mean, well done. Only critique, a little bit more rum. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description where you guys can potentially purchase this piece. If it's your type of energy, test before you buy. Don't trust me, trust your skin. Smooches. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. Hey. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs>